Most portable fire extinguishers come with a pressure gauge that indicates whether the extinguisher is properly pressurized. If the indicator points to recharge, the pressure in the extinguisher is too low to expel the chemical that extinguishes the fire. Pressure gauges are used to monitor and control pressure which is often a necessity in industrial processing. Without pressure gauges, industrial processing systems would be both unpredictable and unreliable. The pressure gauge is a small, circular gauge attached to the outside of the valve assembly to show whether the fire extinguisher has proper pressure to expel the agent in the event of a fire. How does a fire extinguisher gauge work? We need to understand first. Fire extinguishers There is a gauge on most extinguishers to measure the pressure of their contents. A fire gauge's extinguisher can be overcharged meaning the contents are under too much pressure discharged meaning that there is not enough pressure to work correctly or in the green which means that the unit is properly charged. Next, we need to understand the store pressure. Stored pressure agent tanks have compressed nitrogen gas that is used as the propellant for the dry chemical agent stored in the same canister as the dry chemical. Side cartridge operated units store the dry chemical in a non-pressurized container and the compressed nitrogen gas in a separate cartridge. Pressure gauges are calibrated to show the normal charged pressure at this temperature. The green area of any pressure gauge is intended to show a charged condition for the extinguisher through the temperature range for which the extinguisher is rated. Next, we need to know what is stored pressure fire extinguisher. Difference between stored pressure and cartridge operated Stored pressure fire extinguishers have the agent and pressure mixed in the same container inside of the extinguisher. But the cartridge operated fire extinguishers have just powder slash agent inside, and there is a separate pressure cartridge that must be activated to pressurize the extinguisher. Next important point is how do you read a fire extinguisher pressure gauge? How to inspect a fire extinguisher. Safety culture examine where the gauge needle is. A needle within the green zone is good. A needle in the left red zone means that the fire extinguisher is undercharged and warrants a recharge, while a needle in the right red zone signals a danger of being overcharged. Note if an inspection tag is available. In this way we can understand that the fire extinguisher is in working condition. Next point, what is the pressure of a fire extinguisher in KPA? There is not one set pressure for all fire extinguishers, they vary by class. The ones they use in firehouses are 690 KPA but the pressure in carbon dioxide extinguishers can go up to 5861 KPA. A typical ABC rated dry chemical fire extinguisher is pressurized to around 185 to 195 psi. A CO2 extinguisher is pressurized to about 2000 psi. Damage from droppings can damage the integrity of the extinguisher, so it is very important that you keep the dropped fire extinguisher in a safe and isolated area. You know why is fire extinguisher low pressure? It causes, and dangers, of fire extinguisher depressurization over time, like an old or worn car tire, a fire extinguisher can develop a slow leak that releases the gas. When this happens, fire extinguisher depressurization occurs. This process can be due to a leaky or damaged valve component such as an o-ring seal or valve stem. We hope you understand what the purpose of a pressure gauge in a fire extinguisher is and how does it work. Thanks for watching, we will meet in another house video, thank you.